my father is a big advocate of this type of research. And he's been following this for about a decade. He's now 81, in perfect health, no diseases, mentally uh, sharper than I am. And so the three things that he's been doing are to eat less often. Uh, so he eats one normal meal a day and maybe half a meal for, for lunch, skips breakfast. He walks a lot uh, and also works out at the gym. So he's keeping his muscles uh, nice and, and strong so he doesn't fall and break a bone, which is a large cause of mortality in elderly people. And he has a social life. He keeps his brain active. He has friends. And these three things uh, are some of the very simple things you can do to live up to a decade longer. And he started when he was in his late 60s. And so the good news about his um, anecdote, uh, his story, his experience is that it seemed to really help him. He was, even in his late 60s, pretty lethargic, not very optimistic, not looking forward to, the, to his 70s. He retired and was pretty bored. Uh, and he, he went on resveratrol and felt an immediate benefit. Um, that's his uh, feeling about it. And we noticed it in him as well. Then in his 70s, he started to just get fitter and fitter and he did more exercise. Um, and then in his mid to late 70s, he went on NMN. Um, he started eating less often, not, eat, not less, but less often. And uh, that combination, he's now, when you, if you saw him, Andrew, you'd say, uh, this guy doesn't sound like an 82-year-old. He's just like talking to a, a 30 or 40-year-old um, mentally, physically. He's got no, no ailments, no diseases, no lethargy. Uh, he, can, he can run, do anything he wants. And he's now looking forward to the next 20 years of life. And he started a new career and he's got a huge social life. And, uh, and so he, we actually literally will never know if what I just told you is working for him. Um, but I can tell you that, that our family doesn't live a long time. We tend not to be that healthy. We have high cholesterol and tendency towards obesity and, and bad Ashkenazi uh, genes from Hungary on his side. Um, and he's outliving all of our relatives and his friends at this point. So it's, it's pointing in the right direction. And if nothing else, he's a beacon of hope for all of us.